<laughs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How was Kayla's house? It was your first time over there, wasn't it? Yeah. And it made me my last. What's wrong, honey? Did you and Kayla have a fight? I really don't want to talk about it, Mom. I'll be in my room. Naomi... <sighs> oh my gosh, this video is so cute. Oh, hey, Naomi. Hey. I hope you don't mind me being on your laptop. The one in the study isn't working well. I don't care. Just do what you want. Okay, tell me what's wrong. What are you talking about? I just got home. What makes you think something's wrong? Well, first of all, you would have, if you were okay, you would have yelled at me for being on your laptop without your permission. And two, you just threw yourself on the bed and said, do what you want. You never say that to me unless there's a problem. I'm fine, okay? This is, this problem's kind of out of your age group. Out of my age group? What does that even mean? You're just too young to understand. I'm too young to understand your problems. We're only five years apart. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm 15 and you're 10. That's a big difference. Come on, Naomi. You and I are closer than this. You tell me everything and I tell you everything. <sighs> okay. Something happened at Kayla's house. What happened? Well, you know her parents are divorced, right? Yeah, that's what you told me. Well, her mother just got a new boyfriend. Oh, okay. Well, how does that affect you? Let me finish. Her mother just got a new boyfriend, and her, boy, her mom's boyfriend is really mean to... Is really mean to Kayla. How mean is really mean? Kit, you're not stupid. Well, I should hope not. Kit, we take this seriously? I, I'm sorry. What are you trying to tell me? Kayla's boy, Kayla's mother's boyfriend beats Kayla. Beats her? Like how? Well, today I witnessed him hitting her with the TV remote. Really? Yes, really. You gotta tell somebody. I can't. Why not? Because Kayla told me not to tell, so I'm not going to. But don't you think she needs to... What does her mother think of the way her boyfriend cheats? That's the biggest problem. He, her mom's boyfriend only abuses Kayla when Kayla's mom isn't home. So even if Kayla were to complain to her mother, her mother wouldn't believe it because her boyfriend is so nice to Kayla when she's around. Wow, that's a toughie. But what does that have to do with you? She's my friend, and she's being abused. She doesn't feel safe in her own home, and she told me not to tell. I think this is one of those times where you should tell, despite the promise she made to Kayla. How did you get so smart? I don't live in outer space, you know. We don't even live in separate bedrooms. Please don't remind me. No, seriously, though. If you think this is happening and you don't do anything, you're only letting it happen again and again. <sighs> I wish you weren't right. What, what am I supposed to do? Do what you feel is right. I'll tell you what, I'll invite Kayla over and we'll talk. That would be a good place to start. Okay. I'm going to go watch TV so you and Kayla can have your privacy. Thanks, kid. I appreciate that. No problem. Okay, time to call Kayla. <laughs> Ouch. Ugh. It's open. Hi. 
Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, you can sit down. So what's up? You on your computer? Can we watch YouTube? Not right now. Okay. What's going on? Why are you acting so funny? <sighs> Listen, Kayla. I can't take this anymore. Take what? You being abused by your mom's boyfriend. We have to do something. No, we don't. It's okay. It's really not that bad. Yes, it is. How long has this guy been in your mom's life? Like six months? And did he abuse you right away? Yeah, but it's no big deal. I'm used to it. It is a big deal. You deserve to feel safe in your own home. We've got to do something. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <sighs> Look, if you just came here to criticize, if you just invited me here to criticize me, then I'm leaving. Kayla, I'm not criticizing you. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't be telling you all this. Whatever, I'm going home. At least there, my, my mom would be there to love me. Because you obviously can't leave my family business out of yours. Of course it's my business. You're my friend and I'm worried about you and you don't deserve to be treated. The way. That's enough, Naomi. If you tell one person about this, we're not going to be friends anymore. But Kayla, promise me you won't tell. Fine. Good. That's a start. I'm going home. Um, kid, honey, why don't you go check on your sister? She seems really upset. She is. Well, what is she upset over, honey? She told me not to tell. Honey, if there's something wrong with Naomi, you gotta tell me. It's not necessarily Naomi that's got the problem. Well, then, honey, you're talking in circles. What are you trying to say? Naomi's friend Kayla, the girl who just came here? Mm-hmm. Well, her mother's boyfriend's really mean to her, and, um, I'm guessing they had a fight over that. Stay here and watch TV. I'm going to talk to your sister. Okay, Mom. Hello, I don't think I'll be able to concentrate. Naomi, can I come in? It's your house. Sweetie, you don't have to talk to me. I'm fine. No, you're not. Tell me what's going on, honey. I can't. You can't? Honey, yes, you can. We've always been open and honest with each other, haven't we? <sighs> Kayla and I had a fight. Okay, and what was your fight about? It's a secret she wants me to keep, but I can't keep it. I can't hide it. Well, honey, I can't help you if, if you don't tell me what's going on. What is really going on? Kayla, Kayla told me that her mother's boyfriend beats her. And she got mad at me because I tried to convince her to tell somebody. And she said that I was all up in her business and her mother's boyfriend beats her. Really bad, Mom. I witnessed it today when I was at her house. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I was afraid and I promised Kayla I wouldn't say anything. But honey, if your friend is in danger, you got to say something. I guess, but I'm afraid what will happen to Kayla if we report what's going on? What will happen to Kayla if we don't? Honey, Kayla might be mad for a little bit, but she'll thank you for it someday. Thank me for what? 
for telling me and letting me report on this. Mom, honey, I'm a social worker. I will take care of her. You're doing the right thing by telling me. I hope so. I know so, honey. Now I'm going to go and take care of things. Okay. <sighs> I can't even concentrate on my laptop. Kit, how long has it been since mom left? Well, mom just called. She'll be home in a little bit. But she has been gone a long time, even while you were taking a nap. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. You did do the right thing. It was hard for me to keep the secret, but I know I would have felt a lot better if you did it yourself. And you did, even though mom had to drag it out on you. Yeah, I know. Girls, are you awake? Come in, Mom. Hi, girls. Hey, Mom. Hi, Mom. So, what's the story with Kayla and them? Well, her boyfriend, um, her mother's boyfriend, um, got sent to a hospital. A hospital? What would a hospital do with an abuse with an abusive boyfriend? Because it turned he was psychologically tested and it turns out that he has problems. And Kayla and her mom? Well, Kayla's mom got very angry that her boyfriend got put in the hospital and she started to get to be violent with Kayla, so I took Kayla out of her home and they're going to put her on a foster home. The what? I shouldn't have told you. Now Kayla's going to hate me, honey. You did the right thing by telling me. Then why do I feel so lousy? Because it's a lousy situation, honey. I mean, I look at you two girls. And I always wonder, how can anybody hurt their child? I know how hard this was for you, Naomi. But thanks to you, no one could hurt Kayla tonight. Okay, this is getting too deep for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch TV. Okay, go ahead, Kit. Mom, I'm sorry I didn't tell you right away. Honey, the point is as you told me in the first place. I'm very proud of you for helping your friend this way. I know it wasn't easy. It wasn't, especially because of the, especially after the fight haul I had. I know, honey. But you stuck to your guns, and that's what's important. Do you think Kayla will hate me forever? Honey, I don't think so. She'll realize that you were trying to help her, that you did help her. I think I'm going to go to sleep now. Yeah, you do need your rest. We'll discuss this some more tomorrow if you want, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night, Mom. Get in the shower.